Welcome to this release of Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. This is part one of a four part series introducing you to the top new enhancements in Solid Edge 2025 mechanical design. In this four part blog series, you will be introduced to the top Baker's Dozen mechanical design enhancements added in Solid Edge 2025 which was officially launched on October 23, 2024. These enhancements that we selected to highlight were chosen because we feel that they will have the most direct and immediate impact on our customers' design workflows. There are numerous enhancements in Solid Edge 2025 that will not be covered in this blog series. Numerous enhancements have also been added to the Solid Edge 2025 portfolio products that will not be covered. Therefore, you are encouraged to explore the What's New section in the Solid Edge 2025 help documents to look at all the enhancements added in Solid Edge 2025. This slide lists the top baker's dozen of enhancements that we will look at. In the first part, you will look at the enhancements to the Vertical Command Bar, Context Toolbar, and UI. We'll also look at the new Synchronous Pattern UI added to the Ordered Paradigm, and we'll finish Part 1 with a look at the Synchronous Copy and Paste enhancements. The rest of these topics will be covered in Parts 2, 3, and 4 of this blog series. In Solid Edge 2025, Siemens continues to enhance the UI, working towards a common UI across the entire Siemens product platform. The most notable changes for the average user will be the redesign of several of the vertical command bars, or VCBs, and the redesign of the context toolbars, or CTBs. This slide illustrates the new extrude vertical command bar for each paradigm and the new context toolbar that appears when you select a feature. Certain vertical command bars have been slightly tweaked so that the vertical buttons that were part of a group are now arranged in a horizontal style along with a label next to it. This provides a much clearer indication of all the options available to a user for a particular step. You will notice this change in the Mirror Copy Feature, Duplicate, Section, Normal Cutout, Drag Component, and Move Component commands. A search capability has been added to more dialogues in Solid Edge 2025, allowing you to navigate the dialogues more easily. This slide lists the dialogues that the search has been added to. The vertical command bar can now be minimized to allow more space in the graphics area. While minimized, performing a hover over action with a mouse will temporarily restore the vertical command bar, allowing users to interact with it. Move away and the vertical command bar will collapse back to its minimized state. A minimized vertical command bar can be restored to its default state by using the restore option. The Ordered Pattern command has had a redesign of the vertical command bar and the Synchronous Pattern methodology has been added as the Quick Pattern option. This new Quick Pattern option does not require a profile or sketch. The system will automatically create the profile based on the pattern type selected. The legacy workflow remains and is now referred to as the By Sketch option. If a user edits into the pattern feature, the full ordered functionality becomes available. The command remembers the last option used. Let's have a quick look at this in Solid Edge 2025. I'll start this demonstration with a look at the new Circular Quick Pattern option. I'll select the front view and fence select the features that I wish to pattern. Next, I'll select the Pattern command from the Enhanced Context Toolbar. 
Notice the new vertical command bar. I'll select the circular pattern type from the drop down menu. Notice that the quick pattern option is already selected. I'll hover over the front face and then lock to the front face of the model by pressing F3. I then position the center of the pattern at the center of the model and click. Next, I enter in a pattern count of 10 into the count field and click Preview. I now have my circular pattern, so I click Finish to complete the feature. Notice that I did not need to create a profile or have an existing sketch. I will now quickly demonstrate the new rectangular quick pattern option. I'll pre-select the louver feature from the Pathfinder and click on the pattern command in the context toolbar. Notice that it remembered circular from the last time I used the command. I'll select rectangular as the pattern type and I'll position my cursor over the desired face and press F3 to lock it. I'll just give you a top-down view and then I'll drag the rectangular pattern to fit the face. Notice that the vertical command bar changes to show the pattern parameters. The type is currently set to fit and the occurrence type is currently set to fast pattern. I'll enter in an X count of 4 and a Y count of 5. I'll make the length 175 millimeters and I'll make the width 50 millimeters. I'll right mouse button click for a preview and then click finish to complete the pattern. So there's a quick look at the new quick pattern option. You can still use the legacy by sketch option by selecting the by sketch placement type in the vertical command bar. New algorithms have been added to the synchronous copy and paste commands. These new algorithms will not require capping faces to be selected making operations more intuitive, simpler, and reliable. These enhancements will also affect the pattern and mirror operations, improving both of them. Let's have a quick look at this in SolidEdge 2025. In this gear part, notice that one of the instances is missing. I'll switch to the top view and fence select the single gear tooth next to the missing one. This puts me into the Move Rotate command, and I'll place the origin of the steering wheel at the center of the model. Next, I'll turn on the Copy option in the vertical command bar. I then click on the steering wheel torus to start the rotation. I'll enter in 22.5 for the degrees of rotation and press Enter to accept it. Notice that the rotated copy is successful. In previous versions, we would have to cap both ends with surfaces and attach the tooth separately. Likewise, I'll select this keyway cutout from the Pathfinder. Once again, I'll position the steering wheel to the center of the model and turn on the Copy option. I'll select the steering wheel torus and I'll rotate this 180 degrees to position the copy opposite the original feature. Once again, this is successful with no issues regarding the capping faces. These new algorithms in SolidEdge 2025 have solved a major pet peeve of many synchronous users. Want to learn more? Please sign up to our customer portal at the website listed here where you have access to knowledge base articles, tips and tricks, how-to articles, and much more. And watch for part two of this blog series. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1-877-215-1883.